Britain is becoming an increasingly secular country with Christianity on the decline. In fact, almost half the UK's population now say they don't have any religion at all. That's according to the Commission on Religion and Belief in Public Life. It says there has, however, been a rise in Islam, Hinduism and Sikhism. It's now calling for a radical overhaul of public institutions to match the new pattern of belief, as our home editor Mark Easton explains. British life walks in step with the rhythm of the Christian calendar. Where will we find a place for the night? Our holidays, school year, legal sessions, TV schedules still defined by the liturgical cycle. The Protestant church occupying a special place in national ceremony and ritual. But should it? Today a report asks whether the time has come to review the role of religion in our public life. Almost half the population now say they have no religion, up from a third in the 80s. And just one person in six describes themselves as Anglican, the established church in England. Since we are a genuinely plural society, the time has come for us to have a look at ourselves and see how we're going. And I think we need to have underlying principles that everybody would feel comfortable in signing up to. It's time for Thought for the Day, and in our Newcastle studio this morning is the Reverend Professor David The report Wilson suggests BBC Radio 4's Thought for the Day should be presented by people of no faith. For richer, for poorer. And it calls on TV dramas like EastEnders to include fewer church weddings, since 70% of marriages are civil ceremonies. Will you maintain and preserve inviolable the settlement... Of the Church of England. The coronation should reflect Britain's pluralist character, it says. Like a candle in the wind. In the same way, Princess Diana's funeral contained non Christian imagery and symbolism. That backdrop of Christian belief, Christian culture, which shapes all of our institutions, dating right back uh, to the Magna Carta. The idea that suddenly we should become pluralist and that everything ought to reflect that leads to increasing chaos. The report calls on Parliament to end compulsory Christian worship in UK schools and for some Anglican bishops in the House of Lords to be replaced by non-Christians. It also warns government against using words like extremism and fundamentalism in its counter-terrorism rhetoric. Few in the UK would swap Christmas for culturally neutral Winterville or American-style happy holidays. Carols and the nativity are often seen as cherished tradition rather than an expression of Christian faith. My son is taught about all faiths and he's quite excited to be playing the part of Joseph, actually. Oh, he's Joseph? <laughs> he's Joseph, yeah. A Muslim Joseph? A Muslim Joseph, yeah. We do presents as well for Christmas, even though it's not our religion, but we are living in the UK and we go with all the tradition as well. Today's report has no statutory force, but the authors hope at the very least to initiate a conversation this Christmas about the place of religion in daily life. Mark Easton, BBC News.